you know that Mary and Joseph are from Nazareth, which is about 90 miles from Bethlehem. Now, 90 miles to you and I is maybe, what, an hour and a half? Two hours if we stop and eat. <laughs> Somebody does that a lot. Um, but 90 miles. And you think about that. How did these poor people get from Nazareth down to Bethlehem? Because all of the prophecies, Micah especially said, Bethlehem, Ephrata, though thou art little among the nations, out of thee will he come. So Bethlehem, that's where the Lord, Bethlehem is, is the choice of God. How did he get them there? You notice I've got here at the manger, everybody's missing. How do we get them down there? And it came to pass, Luke said in chapter 2, it came to pass. It came to pass. You realize things come to pass and you, you do those things then or opportunities are missed. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. Caesar Augustus decided to tax the people. Does that sound familiar? But he didn't just take the tax all over the nation. He told them to go back to where their lineage came from. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed. Every one into his own city. And Joseph also... <laughs> went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, into the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it were that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and laid him in a manger, wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. <laughs>